Did you know that a one inch rain can generate over 600 gallons of runoff water from 1,000 square feet of impervious area like roads, parking lots, driveways, and rooftops? Hello, this is County Extension Agent John Pennington for Agriculture and Water Quality in Washington County. And today I'm going to talk about protecting water quality by using rain barrels to harvest some of the runoff generated from rooftops. In urban areas, conventional management of runoff water that is generated from impervious surfaces, called stormwater runoff, is directed into the storm drain system where the stormwater is transported directly to waterways untreated, along with any of the pollutants it may have encountered along its journey. Not only does this input of stormwater to waterways deliver pollutants, but it can also speed up water flow into streams and can increase stream bank erosion and even downstream flooding. Alternately, catching and using harvested water from your rooftop can lower your water bill and lower peak water use demands associated with watering lawns, gardens, flower beds, potted plants, and other domestic uses. Not to mention, using harvested rainwater will reduce stormwater runoff volume, velocity, and pollutant load transport to waterways. All of these things can be good for your community. When using your rain barrel, be sure to note the overflow valve because you will need some sort of scour protection like rocks at the bottom if you do not have an overflow hose attached. Since your rain barrel is gravity fed, you will need some kind of platform that it can rest on top of so that you can have some water pressure to make the water come out of the faucet efficiently and quickly rather than not very efficient or fast at all. Remember, it's everyone's responsibility to protect water quality so you can easily do your part by using a rain barrel to harvest rooftop runoff. For more information on protecting water quality, contact your local county extension office or watershed partnership. This podcast was funded by the Arkansas Natural Resource Commission and Environmental Protection Agency.